Welcome to Golf the BRX's Winning What's in the Bag. This week we're taking a look at Peter Malnati's bag from the 2024 Valspar Championship. Congratulations to him on a two-stroke victory. A big win. It was fun to see. We start with the driver as we always do, and his driver is a Titleist TSR3. That is going to be the slightly lower launching, lower spinning model compared to the two. It is a 10 degree head, and the hosel, the SureFit hosel, is set to C2. So C2 is going to be subtracting 0.75 degrees of loft and making the club 0.75 degrees more upright. Making it a little more upright can sometimes help uh, players square it up, hit a little more draw uh, in that setting. Uh, and then it's uh, the rear weight uh, track is actually set to T1, which is one click towards the toe from neutral. So there's actually a T2 on there as well that you can go further, but it's out into the toe for just a, maybe a little more fade bias setup. Uh, now the shaft in there is going to be Project X new Denali Blue. This is in the 60TX, so TX again being a little bit stiffer than extra stiff. Uh, it does have just slightly different specs than the X model. Uh, it comes in at 65 grams. It's 3.1 degrees of torque, which is a little bit lower than the, the 60X model. Uh, and it's a mid-launch, mid-spin shaft. Very tight, very smooth. Uh, I've had a chance to hit it, and it's a really good mid-launch shaft. Uh, and he's playing it at 44 and 3 quarters inches long. And then we move on to the fairway wood, and this fairway is actually a slightly older Titleist TSI-3. So the TSI model was right before the TSR, but a lot of players, if they just get really comfortable with a club, they'll keep it in the bag. Or if it hits a certain launch condition that maybe the newer model doesn't hit for these players, they will keep them in the bag. Uh, it is the 15 degree head or the three wood head, uh, and it is actually set to the neutral uh, weight position on the sole. So the sole has three different positions, kind of a draw, a fade, and a neutral. His is set to the neutral position on the bottom or the sole of the club. And his sure fit setting on the hosel is set to A1, which is standard. So it's playing 15 degrees at standard lie. It is shafted up with a Fujikura Ventus TR Blue 7X. The TR Blue is kind of mid-launch, low spin. I think it's kind of a, just a slightly lower than mid-launching, really smooth, tight-feeling shaft. His hybrid is, again, something a little more old school, and this is the old Titleist 818H2. So this is a couple generations old, and they made an H1 and an H2. The H2 is a little more compact, a little smaller look, a little more penetrating ball flight, lower spin, meant to be swung a little bit more like an iron. Uh, it's a 19-degree head, and it is basically set to D4 on the SureFit setting. So that is actually plus one degree of loft and standard lie, so it's playing about 20 degrees of loft. On that, and, and that shafted up with a graphite design Tour AD DI95X. So this is kind of the mid-launch, low to mid-spin shaft. It's very similar to the wood shaft where it's got a little softer handle section, very stiff tip section. Extremely popular on Tour. You'll see it. It's the orange shaft with kind of the white uh, rings up near the handle section and a ton of hybrids and utility irons out on Tour. Now, his irons is kind of a cool combo set. It's a little mix of a little bit of everything Titleist has to offer right now. Uh, but it is basically the 4-iron is the Titleist T200. The 5-iron is a Titleist T150. And then 6 through 9-iron is the Titleist T100 irons. Now, the T200 is, of course, the multi-piece hollow body iron. Uh, it's higher launching, a little bit lower spinning, really good ball speed on it, and it's very forgiving. Uh, his 5-iron being the T150 is kind of that bridge. It is a slightly stronger lofted, slightly bigger club head than the T100. It's got a little bit more ball speed, uh, hits it a little bit higher. And then the T100s of, are, of course, uh, the forged cavity back that are used all over tour. Extreme precise control, really good feel to them, great turf interaction with the way they've kind of uh, designed that sole. And those are all shafted up with True Temper AMT Tour White S400s. Now, if you go on True Temper's site, they list the AMT White, but they don't list an S400. Originally, when they came out with the S4 or with the AMT White, they did make an S400. Now, the AMT White is an ascending mass shaft. So basically, the four iron shaft, uh, in his case, in, in Peter's case, is going to be lighter than the eight, nine, and pitching wedge. So each shaft gets a couple grams heavier as you go down the set. So the four iron will be lighter, and then the five iron will be two or three grams heavier, six iron, two or three grams heavier as you get down. When you get down to the wedges, it is the exact same weight as an S400. Uh, it's utilized pretty much because some people find a slightly lighter shaft and the longer irons is easier to swing, uh, but it is still low launch, low spin, and these shafts come in around 114 to 132 grams. So the lightest shaft may be a, a few grams heavier than 114, uh, but they'll get down to 132 in the 9-iron pitching wedge. 
Speaking of wedges, these are all going to be Titleist Vokey SM10 wedges. Now, instead of a pitching wedge, he plays a Vokey SM10 48.10 F. So this is the F, the full sole grind, great for full shots uh, or for wedges that are played square to the target, and that makes sense in the pitching wedge. Now, people will play a Vokey pitching wedge over a matching T100 pitching wedge uh, for a few different reasons. One of them can be the launch and spin conditions that the Vokey creates compared to the T100. Some people will actually use their pitching wedge around the green a little bit to hit uh, pitch and chip shots, uh, so they like the versatility of an SM10. Uh, the gap wedge is an SM10 52.12F, uh, so the dot 12 is actually the higher bounce version of the 52. They make an 08 and a 12, depending on what you like. So a little bit more bounce will offer uh, a slightly smaller divot pattern if you're a steeper swinger or you play in soft conditions. Now the sand wedge is a 56.8M, so 8 degrees of bounce in the M grind, but it is bent 1 degree weak to 57. So it'll actually play like 57.09 because every time you weaken a loft by one degree, you're going to add one degree of bounce. So 57 degrees, nine degrees of bounce. Uh, and then the 60 is very similar. He's playing a SM10 60T grind, and that is actually bent weak to 62 degrees. So it's going to play more like 62.06, because a T grind is four degrees of bounce traditionally. Uh, now these all three are shafted up with True Temper Dynamic Gold Tour Issue S400 shafts. We've talked about these a lot in the past. Pretty common on tour, low launch, low spin, about 132 grams, so extremely heavy, but a little softer than the X100s, uh, but a really popular shaft on tour. We're going to see it a lot throughout the year. His putter is something a little bit special, and it's going to be a whole lot to say because it is a Scotty Cameron Tour Type Special Select Masterful 1.5. I know it's a super long name, but the Masterful series is kind of a take on what we buy at retail as the Newport. Uh, the 1.5 refers to the hosel, and the hosel on his is a small flow neck, and the flow necks typically add a little bit of toe hang to the putter. So if you just hold the putter in your hand resting, the toe will point further down towards the ground than, say, a plumber's neck or an L neck. Uh, it is actually shafted up with a Scotty Cameron Studio Design grip, just the black one, the one with the dancing Cameron, uh, and the crown on it. It's a very thin grip, but offers good feed, feel and feedback from the putter. Uh, it's actually playing at a 34 and 1 8 inch finish length, so that's the butt end of the grip. Uh, now the Masterful uh, is kind of, like I said, very similar to the Newport that we would buy at retail. It is slightly different. If you look at it directly from the back, the flange is typically just a little bit thicker, and the bumpers or shoulders on it sit, tend to sit just a little bit higher up on the club head, and they look just maybe a little bit beefier than a traditional Newport. Uh, there's also slightly more rounded, softer edges to it, uh, but it kind of depends on the player and what they like as well. Now, the ball's interesting as well. He's playing the Titleist Pro V1X in yellow, and yes, we don't see a ton of yellow golf balls on the PGA Tour, but he's playing a yellow ball, and his reason for playing it is that his kids really like the color yellow when they have the yellow golf balls out, so he plays that in kind of an paying homage to them. That is Peter Malinati's winning what's in the bag for the 2024 Valspar Championship. Congratulations again to him. It was a huge win, and we will wait and see to next week at the Texas Children Houston's Open to see who wins there, and we'll go through their bag.